Lens flare is one of those things that can sometimes really add to an image, but I find most often it distracts the viewer from the original subject and the impression I want to convey as a photographer. Today's lenses are a complex piece of equipment with lots of glass and other elements built in. Lens flare itself is caused by light reflecting inside the lens elements and then hitting the sensor. One very obvious way to reduce or even sometimes completely eliminate lens flare is to simply use a lens hood. While this seems pretty obvious, it does not always have the desired effect, especially when shooting into the sun, like I did in this image here from my stand, where it doesn't do anything for you. It can also be reduced with a slightly different composition, but sometimes even that's not possible, again when shooting into the sun, like here. Some people also take multiple exposures and hold their finger in front of the lens to block the direct sunlight entering the lens. This, however, requires to blend multiple images later on in post, and depending on the angle of the sun, this can be tricky as well. And you have to be aware of this while you're shooting the scene. While this image here, uh, we have to correct this in post-processing. I can't go back to this location, take the same image, and hold my finger in front of the camera. So this is a rather simple method I'm going to show you here, but with small lens spots like these ones, it works extremely well. So what we do here, we go into the layers menu and create a new blank pixel layer. We're going to rename this one into remove lens flare and confirm with OK. This new adjustment layer can be found on the right hand side in the layers panel. And the next thing we're going to do here is to change the blend mode from normal all the way down here to color. The color blend mode is basically a combination of hue and saturation adjustment and any adjustment made in the color blend mode will only affect color of an image and leaves luminosity and also texture completely untouched. To remove the lens flare, we're going to zoom into the image now, go to 100% and I use the TK Actions V4 panel which you can find on goodlight.us on Tony Kaipo's website. And you can also find the German version of this on my website. Tony and I have been working on this together also with Sean Backshaw to, um, to continuously improve the, the panels. After we zoomed in, we go to the color picker tool and we're going to choose the foreground color, which is close to what the inside would have looked like without the lens flare. So we're going to take something like this here as the starting value, maybe a little lighter, confirm with OK, and then Change the opacity to something low, around 20%. You don't want to go too high. We can do multiple passes over the same spot, but I recommend starting low and then go from there. So let, let's do this. Let's just paint in some of that color that we picked as a foreground color. As you see the lens flare is slowly disappearing. To not make this look all the same color, we're going to choose a different color again. Something like this, a little brighter. And again, paint over the same area, and you can see it's slowly going away. Not knowing that there was a lens flare, it's hard to tell that there was any. So let's, I would recommend doing this multiple times with different colors going over here so that it looks as realistic as possible. We're not really changing anything in the image, we're not replacing anything, we're just getting rid of elements that we can't really control when we're out there shooting. Okay, this was a little bit too much. What we can do now is change the opacity, go a little bit lower, maybe around this. Maybe do another pass with a different color that was too blue. Go back to that brownish gray color here. And again, paint over this. You might have to do this multiple times just to find uh, the right color and get the desired effect. So that was a very simple example uh, where there's not a lot of texture in the image itself. It does get a bit more complicated when we move to something like this, where we do have a lot of texture in the background. So this is so strong, even if you would remove this now, with a color that's really dark, you know, we still lose texture in the background. So there's no really great recipe for this, at least none that I know. Uh, what I would do here is, is to create a new merge visible layer on top of this one here and then choose my patch tool and select the area I want to replace. 
and then go to something that's not really close because that would be too obvious, but something that's a little further away like this. Um, and then use the spot healing brush a few more times just to get rid of some of the areas that are a little bit too obvious for correction. It's not perfect, but this is for demonstration purposes only, but give it a try. Um, it does work in areas, like I said, with, where there's not a lot of texture. Uh, let's go back to fit the image and you can, you can barely see uh, where I removed the lens flare in the first place. Again, you can find the TK Actions V4 panel on Tony Kappa's website at goodlight.us, including some video tutorials from Sean Backshaw, and you will find the German version of the TK Actions V4 panel, including video tutorials about luminosity mask and post-processing on my website, andredistal.com as well. Thanks for watching. <laughs>